please like and subscribe if you would please much appreciated also I do have a patreon if you like the uh, material that you're seeing um, feel free to uh, throw a little something in there and uh, much appreciated with that as well you're looking at the a9g my favorite Sony TV of all time to date and uh, I still have my a80j as well um, I decided to go ahead and throw up the A9G for a while here and then Sammy's going to come by and we're going to get this calibrated to uh, do a little comparisons uh, of, the, of both TV sets but as it stands uh, the A9G is my favorite TV uh, picture quality wise of all time. Um, with that said, the uh, Samsung uh, drive I'm using is going to be the Samsung uh, T7. I'll throw that if you guys can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. But the Samsung T7 drive, I just got it, portable SSD. Sorry for the kind of ghetto to throw it up in there like that, but uh, I didn't want to stop. You know me, I like to just let it run. And um, what I'm going to do is just show you how to make your system turn into a beast, basically, as far as storage cap uh, capabilities. So let's see, we got display. Oops, you don't want to bring up the picture settings, but. second guy like I remember where everything's at here we go yeah device and uh, storage so here we go so they give you 6.7 gigabytes of internal storage on this a9g and uh, I believe the a80 a80j is pretty close to what this is maybe more of a little here more a little less a little more um, turn this down a little bit a little bit high there we go so what we're going to do is put this hard drive on here, which is a terabyte. So we're going to make this internal sh shared storage into one terabyte extra on top of the 6.7 gigabytes. So uh, let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm going to plug it in in real time here and uh, let you see what, what happens when you try to do this. So give me a second, guys. Plug it in. Just plug in if you guys could hear me uh, in the back of the TV set. Basically, just straight up plug it in. Immediately, you'll see my file manager came up, which is a program I have on here. And then also in the right hand corner, as you just seen, a USB drive is connected. And uh, what do you want to do with that? Is it okay? Of course. You hit OK. Most of the time, when it says OK there, uh, whoops, my bad, guys. Sorry. Then call the number on your screen right. <clears throat> Go back to the video real quick here. Most of the time, it'll say on the right hand side, it'll start connecting to, to where to go to on the storage. So let's see what we got. settings and then you'll go into device preferences you'll go into storage again and there it is right there the t7 total space one terabyte and what you'll do is you'll click on that or whatever you got it uh, i recommend the ssd drive uh, i don't fool around with the other ones anymore um just for the simple fact it's a lot quicker to use an SSD. Let me straighten this camera out just a little bit, guys. Sorry. There you go. And immediately it'll say erase and format as device storage. So what you want to do is hit that, and it'll automatically go to format as device storage. This requires a USB drive to be formatted to make sure make it secure. After securely formatting, this drive will only work with this device. So the downside is this is only going to work with this particular device. It's going to become married with the TV, and basically you're not going to be able to take it out and use it in anything else. So it's going to be married to the TV once you do this. You hit the format, formatting USB drive. This may take a moment, please. Do not remove the drive. Uh, 
usually you see uh, little bars going from left to right, but in my case I had to have settings uh, to in there so it wouldn't do that. Uh, and it'll say move data to the Samsung USB drive. Move your photos, files, and app data to Samsung USB drive. This may take a few minutes. Some apps won't work correctly during this move. So move now or move later. Of course, you're going to hit move now. This will move some of your apps to the drive and you can move them back and forth on some of those as well. So here we go with this. So it's moving it and there it is right there. Migrated, the little sign came up underneath. You probably have to hit pause on the video. It said migrated the drive. So now they're officially married together. The Samsung USB drive and the uh, internal shared storage as well. So let's go in here and see what's going on with them. There you go. So there you have it. There's some of the apps moved in. Let's see what, what yeah, some of the uh, apps moved over as well. Uh, there's a thing you could do here also. Sorry about the fish tank noise. Internal storage. Uh, you could migrate data to this storage if you it want. Or you could leave it on the, you know, split it up between the two. Like for instance, if you go into, let's try Netflix here. And it says storage used, it's still calculating. Okay, there it is. This is in your internal storage. You, you click on it and this one doesn't let you move it. Go on another one, file manager, here we go. Same thing, internal shared storage. And right here it says, this one will actually let you move it. I can move it down to the Samsung drive by clicking that. And it moves it to the Samsung drive there. So you can move basically the data between the internal storage of the TV and the actual uh, Samsung drive in my case, or the drive that you select. So uh, some of the, like I said, I don't have many apps on here. I just got through loading this thing up. So, you know, um, Let's see who else we can move. Let's try to move something else. Let's try to move maybe uh, the Hulu. Like I said, some of these may not move. I don't know what they did turn me on here. So you can move the Hulu over. Same thing. And it'll be on the actual Samsung drive now. So basically you just made this thing a mega monster as far as, you know, your TV you could do this is pretty much any Android or Google uh, quote, unquote Android TV set so I've used it with um, in any of the Samsung TV sets uh, my Z9F I've had Z9D I've done this with my A80J A90J um, A9G I'm using right now and with that said guys uh, that's basically it um, there's nothing there's no magical science to it. if you ever have a problem with it migrating over into the TV set you will need to if you have a say like an ES file explorer or anything that has a file or the even the file manager here you would have to go into that and you'd want to uh, clear the cache and then go into force stop to force the application to stop and then unplug the TV plug it back in and then try the same procedure I just uh, had going on earlier basically with trying to marry the, the drive to the TV set but once it's on there, um, it just basically expands the whole TV set, opens everything up, and uh, keeps it really fast as well because now you have uh, some uh, extra storage there on your other drive to uh, share stuff with. So with that said, you guys have a good one. Take care.